Okay, so to make this a good, useful moment where we learn something, <sighs> this is an oxygen cannula. It's plugged into an oxygen concentrator, which is a machine you can hear in the background going, That's my oxygen concentrator and it's pumping out here extremely concentrated oxygen to help my lungs breathe better. Mine's set on four. Um, that means four liters per minute. So there's four liters of oxygen that pure oxygen going through here per minute. So that's pretty, that's good, but that's not even considered high flow. High flow is a whole different thing entirely and it's really, really loud. And it's where, it's because it's there's like a, not just four y'all, not just four liters going through a minute. It's a lot more than that. That's called high flow, but I'm on four. And the normal range is two to five. Um, two is what most everybody gets put on if you get put on oxygen at the hospital. And they um, just start you out. They'll put you on two and see how you do, unless you're really in a dire situation. Then they'll put you on more. Um, let's see, oh, this. This is an IV that's sewn into my chest. So this is called a central line because it's sewn in centrally. This is the center of my body. So it's sewn in place surgically and where the IV part um, on this side ends is where I push fluids and this is an IV directly into my bloodstream. So you can pull blood out of it too. On the other end, where this actually ends inside my body is in the, you, it's anchored. So you can kind of see like there's a line. That's this, that's this cord sewn un, up underneath. I know, it's, it's so wild. So anyways, it goes and then it gets dropped off inside of some of the largest vessels that are in here for your uh, return blood to your heart. So that's the layman's terms, but the science -y terms are more like it's it's called your vena cava, which is the biggest vein in your body returning blood to your heart to get oxygenated because that's what your heart does. Your heart pumps the blood through your body, but first it pumps it through your lungs to get oxygen so that then second it can pump it through your body and deliver that oxygen so that the whole rest of your body stays alive and can breathe. So interesting. Anyways, so this, there's some medications that, you know, when you go to the doctor and you get an IV in your arm or something or your wrist or your crook of your elbow, you get one of those IVs that is called a peripheral IV and it's great and it works for the majority of things. That, <laughs> it works for the majority of things that we need in those situations. However, there are some a little bit more severe situations that need medications or some type of infusion that drops off into your body like it it deploys the troops and the troops are the medicine it deploys the troops into a big space in your body because all these spaces in our arms are really small. They're really small veins. So sometimes you need 
like a big wide open space, a big wide open field will hold like 15 tanks. I don't know why I'm doing, oh, because it, I said de deploy. It's like, why is this so militaristic? <sighs> the world. Anyways, so if there's a big field that's big and flat and it's open, it's a lot easier to put something big in it as opposed to your flower bed. How many tanks can you, full size tanks, can you fit on your flower bed? Right? So that's, your flower bed is like these veins in the periphery, in your extremities. And the big open field is like this sucker, dropping off right there, where the largest concentration of blood like single in a single volume is in your whole body is in that area okay that's a lot of random facts and i'm like laying down and holding the camera weird and i've got my sores mm -mm, rocking on rocking the sores today anyways we'll stop there that's good info though that's some good info that's the most I can do today. Whew. Hope y'all learned something. Hope you're having a good day. And I love you. But remember, Jesus loves you most.